Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play AI War 2. So, we're going to go ahead and do another quick playthrough. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through an entire game tonight. It's already 9 o'clock p.m., and this game does take me a while to play. Um, I saw that the developers added a, a feature request that I had actually submitted, and that's really cool of them. Um, whenever you create a new game, you can actually adjust your resource multiplier, so you can like get more hacking points and uh, other things, essence... Uh, so that you'll gain more stuff. You can even get more build slots too. So if you're feeling like you don't have a whole lot of uh, leeway with the Necro Faction because you're limited by build slots, you can increase that number and you can start experimenting with cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It, it makes the game play faster, I think. All right, let's go ahead and just jump into custom game. And I guess we'll start up here. I'd prefer to start in a section where... There's only one way in. Uh, let's see. What if there's a way to go below 40? It doesn't look like it. Um, okay, so let's do realistic. Factions, I just have myself as the Necro faction. Um, Templar difficulty and Elderling difficulty are at one at the moment. Uh, I have the AI difficulty one. And then I have friendly nine Zul sappers at difficulty five to help me out should I need it. Uh, that's basically it. So it's going to be nice and simple, I think. Options um, under one of these, I think it was the Necromancer. Yeah, here we go. So sandbox bonus resources. Um, so you'll be able to increase additional hexes and bonus resources. Um, so as you're like destroying stuff and and building these these bases, you'll be able to get more build slots and more resources. This makes the gameplay a whole lot faster, and it's actually and more enjoyable for me because I get to play around with cool stuff. So um, I have it on, I think it's five on both, and it seems to work for me. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, just start them up. Okay. So what do we got going on here? Shipyard. This game always takes me like five or ten minutes to get into because, uh, you know, you, you play something else and you come back to this and you're like, okay, I got to get used to the UI and how everything all intertwines. But you'll note now in this home base, I've got four out of 12 hexes. So I've got a ton of, I got more build slots to play around with. Um, so I'll just put, uh, I'll just put some turrets down, I think. Uh, lightning tower, maybe a catapult. We'll just put that out there. Totem life, I think, is awesome. It's like a life sap totem. Protect is good, too. I like that. Okay. And I guess that's good for now. Unspent module, we'll do enhanced shields. I like enhanced shields and anything that gives me a defensive bonus. All right. Um, let's see what we got going on here. We'll load everybody up. We've got um, one fleet and one city center. Uh, we can spend some essence to level up our fleet. I might do that just to just to make my my capital ship a bit more tankier. I can also spend these modules there as well. Shields, hull, and I guess decloaker is fine. I can always reassign the points, and then I wouldn't mind upgrading my. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to save some essence for the next fleet over. Alright, so this is what we got to deal with. Looks like there's a strength 9 there, and my fleet is strength 16. So I think we'll be fine just to head on over and start blowing them up. There's a Templar Rift here. Let's go ahead and hit unload. There's uh, Encampment... Skeleton amplifier, so we're gonna want to put a skeleton building down and then capture that or hack it. All right, let's jump in there And then I think it's what control V yeah That's a nice little uh, keystroke combination that I think one of the developers had suggested to me control V puts everything into like auto aggressive mode if you will um, let's take that off, and 
I guess we'll just do both of that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and fast forward time. Put this on 2x, I guess. Alright, let's take this out. So this is the command station. Once we take out the command station, we'll be able to build a base here. One of three things. We can either build a minor facility, a major facility. The majors can only be built after so many minor ones have been built, I think. And then there's a defensive one, which is more for turrets and defensive buildings. But uh, let's start with a, uh, I kind of want to put defensive here because look how there's three different areas they could come from. And this is right next to our home base. So I'm tempted to put a defensive one here just to sort of make this a nice little choke point. And now we've got, it uh, looks like 10 hexes to mess with stuff. Now, one thing I didn't think about and one thing I forgot, there was that skeleton amplifier. Um, if I had built a minor necropolis, I could have built a skeleton thing, hacked that building, and they would have uh, sort of complemented each other. This defensive necropolis or whatever does not have that skeleton spawner thing, but uh, I'd, I'd, I'll take defense over, you know, that any day. That's fine. So lightning tower, we want a totem life and a protect. Maybe a tachyon would be nice. And I guess another catapult out here. Skull pile. Well, that's interesting. Now, it says, powered by the skulls of the fallen, the structure steadily raises skeletons. I wonder if that does affect this. This is a skeleton amplifier. Huh. I wonder I wonder if that does, that, that does jive. We can, I'll do it anyway. We'll, we'll go ahead and spawn one. And I'll just have to see if it does work. All right. And we'll go ahead and just hack this anyway. We've got the extra hacking points. That's the whole reason why you may want to, um, you know, put your, your resource multiplier up so that you can mess around with stuff without worrying about making poor decisions. We're going to go ahead and unlock uh, specters, I guess. Or there's droggers. Doggers, whatever. Hi, Starcalp. How are you? Oh, so the amplifier does not buff the skeleton, this, the pile or whatever. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, that, that's kind of uh, the skull pile because it says, like, powered by the skulls of the fallen, uh, summons additional stronger types of skeletons with each mark. So, like, because the keyword skeleton was in the tooltip, I thought maybe the skeleton amplifier would affect that, if that makes any sense. But it's good to know that that's not the case. I don't have to worry about doing that later. All right. Um, we've got an elderling there. You may want to go after that. There's a feeble one down here. You know, let's go up and to the left. I'm a little concerned about our power right now. That's 23, that's I fell into the same trap that you did and okay. Well, I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one that thought that.
I don't know how you guys keep it all straight, to be honest. I mean, all the tool tips and everything. It's just, it's a bit overwhelming sometimes. Alright, that's probably bad. Let's get out of here. Alright, um, let's see what we've got in our fleet and then upgrade science for it because we're getting our butts kicked. Okay, so we've got... Now that's the local fleet. So, bodyguards, white, flagship, Igor. So, I've, I should probably upgrade those. So, there's the whites. Although the infectious whites, I think, are better. There's those Igors. <laughs> um, this one, yeah, let's do that one. We've got the science, we might as well spend it. I love defensive upgrades. Take those. Alright, uh, let's just continue on the infectious whites and... Okay, that's good. Alright, I'm hoping that that will increase our power a bit. Make us a bit more tanky. I'm tempted to actually replace this defensive necropolis with a miner, just because I I feel like I need the extra power to push out even further. Alright, well let's see if we can get away with it. Slothful Elderling. I'm pretty sure I can hack that. Maybe. I could transform it. The only downside is it's probably going to make it even more powerful than what it already... Yeah, this might not be a good idea. Not with a power of 15. Alright. Um, maybe I'll wait on that. Alright, let's put a major necropolis here and we'll start building stuff. Okay, so now that we've got another major necropolis, I think that means we have another fleet uh, command, yeah, command ship. So this necro fleet one here only has a couple of fleets attached to it. Infectious white, archer bodyguard. I'm going to go ahead and level that up one time. And we'll assign points to it. Alright, so now we need to destroy more Elderlings if you want to get more Essence. We've got some hacking points. We're up to 35 fleet power. Let's go ahead and load all of them up. Uh, the Elderlings are over this way. Uh, we can probably go after them. This Feeble Elderling is level 5 already. I'm kind of nervous about attacking that. 
We could come down to Dark Commander and go after that. Eh. Just go to this. This one here is fine. This has a white amplifier, so I could probably put like a minor necropolis there. Yeah, so there's a white amplifier, so let's go ahead and build a minor one. And we want the infectious white. I think that would synergize the archer for more stuff. Shipyard. Okay, and then one totem life and one totem protect for defense. And I guess more draugers for offense. Okay. Awesome. And then we'll hack Claim White Amp. Alright. Uh, wow. 55 strength over there. I'm tempted to come back this way and go down this way. There's a lot more Elderlings to attack. We can destroy this for science and hacking. That might be something to think about. Also some Templar encampments down this way. A lot of rifts. Okay, uh, so maybe we'll head down this way. I'm actually going to leave Fleet 2 uh, up here for defense. This bandit is looking pretty weak in terms of defense, so we'll leave that fleet there just to sort of guard things. Can't tell if we're winning this or not. The strength number in the Necro Faction is a little misleading sometimes because they have the ability to recover, you know, and to spawn new ships like zombies. So, like, even though we're even on strength, I may maintain that strength for a while while zombies get spawned or skeletons, whatever the case is. Whereas the enemy doesn't have that luxury. So my strength, even though it might be lower than theirs, might be enough to knock them out. If that makes any sense. Although, it's getting a little close, a little hairy. Alright, let's head back, we'll recover, and then do one more attack. This is why I build those uh, life totems in every every system. It's just It's super helpful in getting your flagships right back to the fight again. All right, you know what? While that is repairing, I'll send my other fleet down here. Nasty. These elderlings are rough. They are so tanky. I do need to hack them at some point in order to get blueprints. 
but I feel like I need to increase my fleet strength before I start doing that. Ooh, uh, it looks like the Paladin fleet has arrived. Nasty. Okay. Uh, Alright, we have about 6,000 some science. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, spending more on... I love defense. And even though the Necro faction is not suited for defense as the humans are, I still like to bump up their towers and totems as much as possible. Just so that I can... I have more leeway to go around with my attack fleets and do things. But I will up the Draugrs because I have a bunch of those. And the uh, the Infectious Whites I can't afford. I need a couple more signs for that. Uh, let's go with, um, I guess, the Draugrs again. Yeah. That should help out a little bit. Okay, so we are at slime. Ooh, strength of 60. That's awesome. Let's just take this out. It's so weird playing as the Necro 2 because as the humans, like, I'm const Even on difficulty 1, I'm constantly thinking about where I should attack and capture next. Whereas with the Necro faction, I just... I like to steamroll everything. I feel like... Like with the Spire faction, I need to capture as much as possible and go for like a high AI progress approach. Whether or not that that's the smart thing to do is a different story, but I feel like that's... I, I feel like my strategy changes with this particular faction. Uh, let's go with Totem Life and Protect. And we're good. Alright, next up. Uh, actually, there's a Skeleton Amplifier. I did put a Skeleton Archer down here. So let's go ahead and hack that before we move on. Okay. Alright, uh, let's head down this way. Alright, let's go ahead and transform these Elderlings. I'm going to use some hacking points for that. Reason being, I want to start getting some blueprints so I can upgrade my capital ships. It makes them more powerful, that's the only downside. Sacrifice. Okay, so this is the one that we have to kill right here. The title change to sacrificial. Wow, this thing can take a beating. Just, just slamming on this thing for like a full minute. We'll come back. Holy cow. Alright, so how are we doing up here? Uh, okay, so Fleet 1 is still sort of defending from this direction. We have 72 strength here at Raging Rock. We have a defensive Necropolis here, which is great. Just in case they do attack, we've got... We've got some defense. All 
All right, it looks like we finished off that elderling. So I should now have the ability to transform my ship if I have enough essence and hacking and all that jazz. Unless it left. Maybe it jumped out before I could kill it. Feeble. Now they're both feeble. I have to wonder if the transformed elderlings don't give you essence. I don't know. Alright, well let's go ahead and build up. Why can't I build anything here? That's weird. Mummy amplifier and... I mean, maybe you have to take out the Templar Rift? I can't be right. I should have build options here. Odd. Yeah, there's no there's no build options here. That's, that's really strange. Uh... Known units that can hack on this planet. If you have a flagship here, it may be... Oh, maybe my flagship is crippled. Let's take a look. No? Oh, yeah, it is crippled. That's why. Okay. So let's get our fleet back to... I guess Slimer Bandit. We'll send... Yeah, let's bring it up to Bandit. And then we'll bring Fleet 1 down to capture it. Oh, we've got an Elderling here. Wrathful Elderling. Okay. So two should be getting repaired now. And then now we're back to one here. Unload. There we go. Okay, let's go with the Major Necropolis. Shipyard, as usual. Skeleton archers and whites, as usual. Draugers and definitely totem life and totem protect. And then maybe a lightning tower. Alright, and let's hack the Templar Rift. So, oh, Draugr's at 20. So, I thought I already had those unlocked. This upgrade will grant the ability to build two additional Necromancer mansions at any... So, I can now stack more of those at a location um, if, if I unlock it. I've already got the ability to build two. So, that means that I'd have the ability to build four Draugr's at each location. The problem here, though, is that the number of hexes required is two each. That's a total of eight hexes total I would need to spend in order to make use of that fully. And I only have 11 hexes. Uh, and that's with the generous uh, options where, you know, you can get more build slots or more hexes, rather, with setup. So, like, I, I feel like unless I, unless I spend a lot of essence to upgrade this place, then I'm not going to really make use of that hack. So, I think I may hack something, or choose a different hack. Let's go, even though that's that's great there, that, that S20 is really appealing. Claim terrorizing flagship blueprints. Well, blueprints are blueprints. Um, I think maybe we'll go with that. Um, Banshee, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and unlock the, uh, the terrorizing flagship. That will allow us now to, to transform our flagships into more powerful... Mo modifiers, like they're transformers, I don't know. But, um... I may need to get more essence before I can do that. But it's now we have the option of doing that. Alright. So, 41, 33, we are good there. Okay, so our flagship number 3 is now on the scene. Let's go ahead and see what that has and what, what it's capable of. 
Okay, so it has the Draugr's bodyguards, body archer bodyguards, and I. Okay, so it, it does have a small fleet. Um, I don't have enough essence, though, to level it up. I'm going to keep that there, I think, for defense and just continue using fleet one to terrorize. So we'll lock, or load, rather. And let's send one up here to fight this feeble elderling. Whether or not we can actually take that out. Looks like, uh, our, looks like uh, Fleet 1 is actually not as strong as 2 or 3. It looks like 1 is our weakest fleet of all things. I may have to, like, reassign, uh, like, these different areas here will assign their fleets that they create to a capital ship. I may have to, like, move some of these. So, for example, Fleet 2 has a strength of 95 Let's move, can I, can I assign, how do I assign it from here, if that's even possible? I don't want to construct it, I want to reassign it to a different capital ship. <sighs> Maybe I have to do it from the planet itself? Okay, so this is bolstering Ubeme. So let's go ahead and reassign them to the first one, which was Tanoka. And hit OK. Now we'll see our strength increase for Fleet 1 and decrease for Fleet 3. So all, all we essentially did, um, we took some of the ships, we, 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 we targeted one of our systems and said, no, I want you to send all of your ships that you're making to this fleet instead. And that's what I just did. So I made... Uh, fleet one slightly stronger now. Fleet still, uh, fleet two is still our strongest, but um, maybe I can move something from fleet two over. Uh, this one is also supporting Tanoka. Tanoka, nope. Okay, I um, guess we're not doing anything there yet. Okay, so I guess that's good for now. Let's uh, come back here and see what we're doing. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of strength now, we're good. All right, and from here we'll do another minor one. Oh, I'm out of essence. Ugh. I, I suppose I could build a, a defensive one here, but uh, it's that's not really my preferred thing. Alright. There's a bunch of elderlings down here. Let's go ahead and pick a fight with them, see if we can get some quick essence. I'm going to go ahead and load up my fleet. They have a strength of 78, so I may have to bring fleet 3 over to assist. Alright, there we are. So both fleets are now arrived from two different locations. We'll see if we have the ability to take them all out. It's tough to say at this point. It's 82 to 74. Although now we have 10,000 science, so we may want to start... While, while this battle is going on, let's improve our offensive abilities. Like this Infectious White, Strength of 23 with this upgrade. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and buff up our defensive towers as well. Give the Tower Defense and Totems each uh, a level up. 
the Draugr. We'll go ahead and level them up by one. We're down to 250 signs, but now our fleet should be... Yeah, now we're at 103. So we actually gained a lot more strength just from that upgrade. Uh, and now our defenses, that's strength 100, 60, 61, uh, 41 over here. That's not too bad at all. So I think that was a huge upgrade for us. All right. Uh, I think we've won this battle, but I wonder where the Elderlings went. I think they left. One went up this way. Oh, we did destroy one. We've got 205 Essence. So we did take one out. Um, let's go ahead and take out this uh, distribution node. That'll get us more science and more hacking points. Beautiful. And let's take out this down here. And I think we'll put another minor one in this area. All right, yep, minor necropolis. And we'll put down our usual shipyard for reinforcement, skeleton archer, so they can build and attach more of these ships, these minor ships to the fleets. Uh, some draugers, same thing. Uh, let's go with a totem life and totem protect and a lightning tower for defense. And let's go with more of these draugers. They're really good. Oh, I don't have enough hexes. All right. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the Igor then. Let's put that down. All right, slowly but surely, we'll buff that up. There's a white amplifier here, and I did put down a white, infectious white place. So I'm going to go ahead and hack that real quick. Claim white amp. That should buff that. 136 strength now. Holy cow. Crazy. Let's set up the Dark Commander and capture that territory. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send three up that way. One can stay down here and clean up. Alright, um, let's go ahead and build another minor one here. Same deal. It's a shame there's not like a... Like a, an auto build, like a, a setup, where if you're going to build the same things... Ev like, I'm always building the Totem Life. I'm always building a Totem Protect. Maybe like a preset build, uh, where just you click one button and it just... Eight buildings... It automatically puts them as close to your necropolis or whatever as possible. Like, that to me, that would be really useful. Um, I guess we'll put, I guess, a lightning tower nearby. Maybe a second one. There we go. Okay, there is a Dem Templar Rift down here. Let's go ahead and try and hack that. And obtain life essence from Rift. Unlocks royal mummies and unlocks revenants. Oh, how do we do that? Um, only available to a necropolis at Mark 3 or above. So that means we would have to... And this is Mark 4. So let's see about... Um, Let's go to our main base, and it's uh, Shadow here, I think, right? Yeah, Shadow. Let's see if we can upgrade this with our newly found hacking, or our um, essence points, and uh, level it up to the point where we can actually hack, get those things, and then spawn them here at this location. Um, trying to mess with this is always fun, though. Let's see. We still have... Th okay, yeah, I need to upgrade this. Uh, this is, uh, Phylactery, it's here somewhere, Morgue, I think that's what it is. Tanoka, Shadow, I think this is it. Um, okay, but that's a, that's a fleet though, no, it's not a fleet. That's, yep, that's Shadow... 
I wish they wouldn't call this a fleet. Technically, it's a city center, but... All right, so we'll go ahead and level this up, right? And if I am if I did that correctly, we should see... I'll do it three, two more times. And level four. There we go. So now our, our main base should be at level four here, right? And I should have some extra modules I can assign. Um... Let's go ahead and take these out and we'll summon a mummy minion. I've never tried that or a bone dragon if I can get those, but let's do the uh, let's do the mummy minion and rail cannon first. And now if we come back to our hack, which was I think down here, we now have the ability to hack Yeah, see now we can hack these things because we've increased one of our necropoli, if that's the correct word. Um, up to its proper level. Uh, I think it was the mummies that required Mark IV. So that leads me to believe they're more powerful, but whether or not they are, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll... Although the Revenants have a strength of seven. So, like, it makes me wonder, why do the Revenants have a strength of seven, but only need a Mark III Necropoli, whereas the Royal Mummies have a strength of three, and need mark four like i don't know why what's more powerful 2400 dps uh this one is 200 damn uh, 177 dps so i'm guessing the mummies uh do some kind of drain thing soul sif soul siphon possibly whereas the revenants just they do straight out damage you know what, we'll go with the revenants they, they appear stronger, but whether or not that's true, I couldn't say. So we're going to hack that, and once that hacking is done, we should now be able to build the appropriate structure at this location. Uh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. So there are the revenants. So we're going to put that down. That requires two hex points. And I'll save... Oh, I've got room for nine more hexes. Um, I guess we'll put Draugr's down. Fine. And then we'll save the other hexes for, um, other things that we might hack. Uh, let's go with that, that. Okay. Now, I guess the question is, where are we... Where... What are they bolstering? Uh, Tanoka which is Fleet 1. So Fleet 1 just received a huge boost in power now that they've got they've got the dro the Revenant. There it is. Uh, 4 out of 4. Mark 1. So, yeah, now Fleet 1 has a strength of 122. So that's going to be huge for us. All right. Oh, yeah, there they are right there. Okay, um, let's just continue. Now that we've got a, a, a nice fleet, I'm just going to start face rolling these people. Um, just taking out as much as possible. It looks like the enemy AI is in this corner in the upper right, so maybe we can just head this way with our fleet as well. All right, let's go ahead and unlock, or unload, rather. This is a Descendant Elderling. Uh, let's go ahead and hack it. Transform Elderling, yes. Okay, so that makes it more powerful, but if we kill it, we get blueprints. Uh, speaking of blueprints, I forgot maybe we could have transformed our capital ships. Well, let me, while, while we're fighting there, um, let's take a look at our other ships in the fleet. Uh, there's ship number three. Fleet 3. And let's see if we can't uh, transform this one while we're here. I think that's considered a hack, if I remember correctly. Uh, transform flagship. Yeah, so remember, we... Okay, so we destroyed one. We hacked one Elderling and destroyed it. We also hacked a Templar Rift for another thing. Um, however, we need Mark 2 or Mark 3 flagship. So we have to level it up once or twice to access these. So we need to uh, find Fleet 3 on this. There we go. And then we're going to level that up. One, two, three. Fine. Spent some essence doing that, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. So Fleet 3, uh, we're going to now go back to hack. And wow, sounded like Mr. Haney there for a minute. 
uh, transform flagship. There we go. So now we can transform it. Now the wrathful flagship does what? Anti-shield plasma bolt, 625 DPS. Whereas the terrorizing flagship does 12,500 DPS? Why the difference? Like, I wish there were like, uh, this necromancer flagship deals more damage the more damage it has it, it or its target has taken. It was obtained from sacrificing a wrathful elderling, whereas this one is has two paralyzing weapons, one for smaller ships and one. I think we're going to go with the terrorizing flagship. It just it looks more powerful, so we're going to transform that, and now this this ship should now be transformed into yeah. Now it is a terrorizing flagship. Uh, let's go to number two, wherever that is. It's up there. Let's go ahead and upgrade that, and then. We'll also hack it and transform it. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And hack. All right. Uh, let's do, again, with this whole wrathful thing. Let's, I, I like the terrorizing flagship. I think it's better. Although, again, it's weird. Like, you've got this terrorizing flagship that supposedly does... 12,500 DPS, but it needs Mark II or above, whereas the Wrathful flagship is Mark III or above, so you need to upgrade your flagship more to do this, but the DPS is only 625. Uh, and then below it, Fusion Bomb is 1,250 DPS, Wrathful Barrage is 7,500 DPS. You know what, just for the sake of math, let's just do a, a variety of ships, and it should hopefully all work out. Um, because I don't have the time to delve too deeply. So I'm going to make that a wrathful one. So we're going to upgrade that. And that should make that flagship more powerful. And now this one here, we are, for the most part, we took some damage here. Uh, the sacrificial decadent is, uh, really causing some issues here. Oh, we'll just keep at it. In the meantime, our strength is now 94. I'm tempted to go after this over here. So let's go ahead and load up Fleet 2. And we'll send it this way. Unload. Alright, yep. Just have at it, guys. Just uh, blow them up. Uh, spend some modules while I'm thinking about it. Shields and uh, fusion bomb, sure. Hundred and three to a total of about forty. I think we're fine there. Um, fleet three is not really doing much. I'm gonna go ahead and send that to the front lines as well. I'm gonna bring that to Gold Beetle. And try and take that over. That has a ship fleet, uh, a power of 91. So 91 versus roughly 35. That's three times what the enemy has there. I think we're okay. Uh, down here, we're meeting a ton of resistance. Yeah, he, he brought in some reinforcements for sure. It's this, uh, it's this elderling, I think. It's really, really causing the issues. That's all right. They can't be everywhere, right? Alright, looks like we're good there. Alright, unload. Just hit you and watch the fireworks go. And then uh, we can maybe hack one of these. Feebles and Slothful? Uh, let's see if we can hack one for blueprints. Again, that makes them more powerful, but we've got the numbers, so... Yeah, let's transform one of the Elderlings, and that'll make, yep, Sacrificial Slothful Elderling. It makes it more powerful, um, but I'm hoping that, you know, once we destroy it, we'll get some blueprints. Uh, did he just send a fleet over this way? 
He's got, a, yeah, Prophet 5 of Temp. Yeah, he sent a Templar over here. I think lucky for me, though, I think my defenses are in, in good shape. Um, with the science that I've got, I'm going to go ahead and up my totems and tower defense again. Just to make my my systems more tanky and, and powerful. And then this is good here. All right, let's go with a major necropolis. Shipyard, skeleton archer, infectious white, uh, draugers, uh, totem life and protect, lightning tower for the fun of it, and that's good. Okay. Now there's also this um, white amplifier, so we can hack that, and that'll buff our white shipyard that we just put down. So uh, let's do that. We'll hack. Uh, claim white. There we go. Uh, we also got a fourth capital ship here. Uh, the strength of that, I can't imagine, is too high. Every time we build a major necropolis, we get a new capital ship. Um, but, yeah, right now the power on that is 49. We'll use that for defense. Uh, just It'll just hang back and, and guard key systems like this one. While, you know, number two goes out and wrecks everything. I think that's the way to go. The weaker fleets we can leave behind. Um, let's go to Jupiter 3. There's, what, three elderlings here? That's quite a bit. Alright, I think we're, I think we're okay there for the moment. Uh, we've got more technology. Let's go ahead and throw it into uh, Infectious Whites. We're doing, we're seeing a ton of those, so I think that upgrade is going to be great. Um, the Draugr would have been good too, but we don't have enough science. The Revenant, we do have a Revenant. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. And I guess that's good. Uh, Skeleton Archer, I remember seeing a bunch of those. And we've got the Essence to upgrade... I have to wonder if we should upgrade Fleet 1. Did we not do that yet? Okay, actually we won this battle down here. Awesome. Okay, let's transform this into... Oh, now we've got even more options. Look at that. Um, although we need Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 3. We're going to have to upgrade this capital ship before we can do anything. So, uh, fleet number one, and we'll level this up to four. Make it really tanky and, and good. And then, this is why I like the extra essence from the, the game setup options. Having the ability to just play around and upgrade things as you see fit. It's super casual, super... This is a great way to learn the game, folks. I'm just saying. Uh, times three to times five resources and, and an extra five build slots, I think, is great. Uh, for starting players, it makes the game. You know, you're not you're not too worried about getting your butt kicked while you're trying to learn the new the new concepts. Uh, direct build. We're gonna build a minor necropolis and shipyard. Archer, white, draugers. We're seeing a lot of those. Igors, and then life and protect. And that gives me one more. Um, I guess the lightning tower. Oh, the allergies, damn. Okay. So it was, oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna transform this flagship. I forgot about that. Okay, so now that I've leveled it up, I should now have the ability to. I can choose now any of these. So I've got a wrathful already. I think I've got the terrorizing one. So we've got a decadent and a slothful. The slothful flagship, the gray tooltip says it fires in bursts, dealing bonus damage to ships with strong engines, or are moving quickly. It was obtained from sacrificing a slothful elderling. It says anti shield plasma bolt, six twenty five DPS, uh, has a fusion bomb, slothic salvo, thirty thousand DPS. I like the sound of that. Now, what's the decadent do? 
Um, this one, it says, real ships toward itself to consume them. <laughs> it was obtained from sacrificing a decadent elderling. That's kind of cool. Um, decadent fishing hooks, 8,333 DPS. So it devours them? So I guess it sort of like holds them in place with tractor beams, if I had to guess. I don't know. I, I, let's go with uh, the slothful one. That that Slavic Salvo, 30,000 DPS. I have to wonder. That that seems pretty powerful to me. All right. So now we've transformed that. Um, at least I think we have. And let's go ahead and assign uh, cloaking... Fusion Bomb and Decloaker is fine. Okay. That says... Uh, Alright. Fleet 1. Uh, Fleet 4, we have not transformed. We just got the ship. Uh, so we may want to just quickly upgrade that. So I'm going to level that up like four times. And we'll just give it that other one. There we go. And hack. All right, it was the decadent one, if I remember correctly. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and spend these module points. Oh yeah, that bumped up the strength of this fleet to 81. Not bad at all. Okay, Gold Beetle is good to be captured. Let's just do that real quick. Kill it. Thank you. like there was an elderling here but it, it went away oh no got company something's here oh this holy prophet okay these guys are really tough and tanky even on the lower difficulty settings all right so we'll leave uh, our fleet there for the moment oh it actually moved over here that's not good we'll have to give chase that's a, a really nasty fleet size there. Oh, that did the trick. Nice. All right. Uh, that cleaned up rather well. Uh, let's continue our trek to the right, where the AI is. So, oh, let's head back that way. We may want to assign a fleet to Gold Beetle. Um, what we could do, actually, is use Fleet 4 to just knock out, or Fleet 2 and 4, knock this out, all of it, and then we can concentrate our efforts all over here and just be done with it. I don't want them attacking me from behind, so... We'll capture that. Let's send Fleet 4 down here. Let's build a bunch of minor necropoli here. We can go, I think, lighter on the defenses only because we're not going to see a whole lot of action over here, I think. So maybe Lightning Tower is not necessary. I think the Life Totem and the Protect is enough. All right. Uh, there is a hacking rift. We'll go ahead and hack it real quick. 
Uh, unlocks Revenants. Again, I think that just adds in another Revenant building. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Ghasts, Inspectors. Um, revenants, Revenants. Um, I think those are the ones that need... Let's come back here. Shadow. Direct build. Yeah, so the Revenants need two hexes. So I could hack again, unlock another Revenant ha uh, hex. Or build slot, I should say. And focus on leveling them up. I've got some extra hexes here on my home world. I guess I can do that. Alright, so let's come back over here. We will hack it. And we will hack more Revenants. That's going to cause the AI progress to go up a little bit. All right. Now with that hacking done, we should have the ability to build a second Revenant. Yeah, there it is. One out of two. So I'm going to put that Revenant right there. And that should automatically be assigned to whatever fleet it's assigned to. Okay, um, dealing with this here, looks like Fleet 4 is doing okay. Let's go ahead and bring Fleet 2 to the right. That's a pretty large fleet, 135. Wonder what's here that's so, so much. AI Matrix Mobile Fortress, that might have something to do with it. Alright, well hang in there guys. Hang in there. Here's hoping Brute Force just wins the day. Uh, back over here, we're good. Uh, Fleet 1 is holding the line here. Um, let's just pack this up and move it that way. I kind of want to leave Fleet 3 where it is, because that is a major intersection. The computer could come from down here, here, or here. So I think we need to like take this out, and then use these two fleets, move them back to the left, and then back to the right, and then just sort of cut them up up there. Alright. Okay, uh, I guess the another dragger, sure. All right, um, while that is building, let's see what else we've got. Okay, we are winning the day up here, great. Here, it's still, it's close, but I think we've got them on the ropes. Let's, let's finish this up. Another minor one. Uh, there is a skeleton amplifier here, so we can go ahead and just hack that. And we've got 10,000 science again. Great. Um, let's throw that into... These infectious whites are at 4 out of 6. So it's going to see a huge increase. It's just super expensive to upgrade it. That's the only downside. This is going to be cheaper. 4,500 for 45. Yeah, let's go with the Draugr and the Revenant. That's a nice little increase there. And we'll do that again. Okay, that should help.
Got some elderlings here, but I think we'll be all right. Um, we're still fighting this over here. Um, I don't know what they're waiting for, but... Maybe I didn't have them on aggressive uh, mode. That might have been it. Wow, our fleet strength is 300 and something up here. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep pushing with this one. Lock it, or load them up, move them up here, then down here. Three hundred is crazy. All right, let's go with a minor one. I think it's all the draugers, honestly, because we're upgrading them a lot, and every time we build a, a necropolis, we're including ships. A ship line for them. So I feel like that that's a good way to, to go. Alright. We are good there. Let's load up. Strength of about a hundred here versus my four hundred. I think I think we're okay. There's an elderling egg. Um, we can wait for it to hatch and then just blow it up, and then that's some easy essence there. Um, it looks like we are done down here. Let's go ahead and just finish this off. Might as well claim the skeleton amp while we're here. And yeah, that's that's about it. Okay, so we've captured, I think, almost everything. Uh, we need to hack and build something here. Let's hack the rift. This gives us spectral whites, uh, withered mummies, skeleton rogues, uh, unyielding flagship blueprint. Mark two or above. Uh, what does that do? Necrotic cannon, uh, anti-shield plasma bolt, fusion bomb, uh, is extra tanky and has a powerful cannon. It is hardened to resist. Uh, all right, let's let's go with that. We'll claim the unyielding flagship blueprints because why not? All right, so I think that means we can load all of these guys up and then start just pushing toward the right, try and finish this up. Like I said, games are a lot quicker with this multiplier thing on, in my opinion. What's he trying to do over here? Trying to cause some issues. All right, let's do a major one. Shipyard, Archer, Infectious White, uh, Totem Life, Totem Protect, uh, Lightning Tower. Oh, I did two Totem Protects. That's my bad. All right, we'll just do Lightning. Might as well blow this up, this data center. Reduce AI progress. Although it's up to 366 at this point. So again, when I play as the humans, I typically don't go over 100. I'm that, you know, just 
scared to do anything crazy with the humans. This faction, I feel a bit more empowered. Uh, this egg is going to hatch in 140 seconds. We'll just sort of like all gather around it, I guess. Uh, fleet 5. What's the power on that? We could probably transform that. Okay. And hack. That one was the Sheo, I think. So, the Unyielding, was that the one I just unlocked? Uh, yeah, the extra tanky one. Powerful cannon. We'll go ahead and uh, transform number five into that. Yep, there it is. Unyielding flagship. That's what that looks like. Okay. I think we'll keep uh, Fleet 5 there for the moment. It has a power of 54, probably enough to take out that Elderling. So, we'll keep 5 there. And we'll push forward with one. Uh, this has 62. I guess we'll start there. All right, while that's going on, let's see how we're doing over here. Okay, so it looks like our fleet has arrived. Okay, so we've got three fleets here, 565 power. We'll leave one behind for defense. Um, it looks like number two has 278 power. Three is 139 and four is 100. So they're not, I guess we'll leave three behind. We'll send uh, two out, which is the strongest. We'll send it toward all that mess. I think we can just ignore all this down here, to be honest. Just go straight for the enemy uh, AI. Alright, we'll send uh, four. Alright, there is a data center somewhere. There it is. Again, destroying these just reduces AI progress, which is good. Lower AI progress means less threat, typically, so... Always a good thing. Alright, let's continue heading... Northeast. Yeah, we'll bypass all of this and just go straight for him. Uh, we've got some issue on Dino or Dino, whatever. We'll send Fleet 1 back. Fleet 5, I don't think can handle this. Not by itself. Oh, there it is. Uh, so it's just... It's going through the galaxy. Yeah, it's just causing havoc. We'll send Fleet 1 after it. Alright, in the meantime... We are good here. Let's just knock it out. Uh, with that being worked on, again, let's just continue working our way up. 
We've got to knock out all of the protective stuff at the surrounding systems to access the boss. Alright, the AI is getting a little bit tougher over here. 161, 75. Uh, so we've got a decent sized strength, but I, I, I still think we're doing pretty well up here. Um, how are we doing here? Okay, it looks like we're whittling the enemy. Alright. Done and done. What a mess. Alright, major necropolis here. Uh, shipyard. Infectious white archers. Totem life. Totem protect. Lightning tower for good measure. Catapult for good measure. Because we are in enemy territory at this point. We're going to want a few more defenses, I think. Um, how about another totem life? There we go. And then another totem protect. Okay. Um, let's send fleet for... Up here. One forty eight to one fifty six. All right, we're going to need some backup, I think. Oh, we've got a new flagship. That's right. Number six. We'll leave that. We'll hang that back for right now. And then I want to transform it and level it up and stuff. So now we've got five hundred and twenty some versus one oh three. I think that's great. Uh, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and upgrade capital ship number six. Um, here we go. So we'll upgrade that maybe four times. Now I've got all this essence now. I guess I could be also upgrading my, my necropolis spaces and getting more hexes out of them. In turn, that would allow me to assign more ships to the fleets that they're assigned to. But um, again, with this level of play, you know, with the difficulty and all that, I, I don't really need to worry about that. Um, let's see, but I could if I wanted to. Fusion Bomb and Decloaker is fine. Okay, and let's go ahead and hack this sucker and we'll change it. Um, uh, there's significant enemies. Str oh, because there's still ships here? Who? Who is still in the area? Maybe this thing? Deep Space Anomaly Analyzer? Maybe we should take that out. There it goes. Okay. So now we're going to transform it into, I guess, the... I guess this Mark IV one. Alright. There it goes. Awesome. And we are done with this planet here. Just knock that out. Let's go ahead and build a defensive necropolis here, since it's next to the AI homeworld. Uh, let's load them, load them all up. Uh, we'll send Fleet 2 down that way. Again, there are, like, these defensive turrets we're supposed to kill. Concussion guard posts, yeah. We gotta knock them out. And these, uh, dire Tesla guards posts, we have to knock them out too. Otherwise, we can't access the boss. 
380 here versus 130, I think we're fine. Um, all that's left really is to make a final push on Mandroga. Mandroga, Gora, whatever. <laughs> all right. Not bad. Looks like the Paladin ships are starting to fight back a little bit, but um, I'm confident. We're holding the line. Alright, it's possible my flagship may have been disabled. Um, let's send this fleet down here. And we'll send this fleet with it. We'll capture this in a little bit. Alright, in the meantime, um, we've got... I'll send one of these up. Uh, let's just bring that here. Another defensive one for sure. Unlocks... What is that? Ikaros? I've never heard of that. One additional Necromancer effigy. Okay, so this must be another type of ship. I've never heard of this. Okay. Skeleton Lords. I wonder if Skeleton Lords benefit from Skeleton Amps. Alright, well. Not a whole lot going on here. I guess we'll just hack the... That one. All right. Well, it looks like we are in good shape. Um, let's go ahead and send Fleet One up here. Final assault. Uh, we'll go ahead and send Fleet Four. Four up here as well, just as backup. So far, so good. We're at five thirty nine strength compared to his one hundred and twenty six. Alright, so it looks like we are now attacking the AI. Oh, it might actually be moving on. I think we already knocked it out of phase one. <laughs> so now it's it's trying to reach... I guess we'll just fast forward time at this point. It's going to take some time. But it's going to try and just make a, a, a break for, toward my base. And we just have to follow it until it becomes vulnerable again. Right, there it is. It's heading toward 
head. There it goes. Not too shabby. So, yeah, I mean, before, I, it took me six to seven hours to complete one game. With the new setup options, again, with the increased science and uh, hacking and essence, you can pump out a game. And I, what, it's been an hour and a half. I've been streaming for about an hour and a half now. So that's, that's a huge, huge cry, which is, uh, yeah, pretty quick. So I highly recommend, and again, if you want to know where that is, um, I'll hit, uh, is it quit game? So when you go to custom start, just make sure you go to the options menu, and then go down to Necromancer. And from here, you want to increase sandbox bonus resources. I put that on five. So basically I'm getting five times the amount of resources that I should be getting. Um, and also this additional hexes that increases the amount of build slots you have at each base or necropolis. I have that on five as well. So five plus the default. So check this out um, and mess with these settings if you want an easier time. And I, I highly recommend upping these between three and five just to, as a new player, just, just to, you know, have some fun and experiment with this new faction. So there you go, folks. AI War 2. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.